Okay, so we're assuming that all the kinetic energy goes into raising its temperature. Well, the kinetic energy started off as gravitational potential energy. So we have mgh, which is equal to the kinetic energy at the bottom, which goes into raising its temperature. So that's equal to mcw delta t. Okay, now the masses will cancel off. And what we're trying to do is get this change in temperature. So the change in temperature is gh over cw. Substituting in 9.8, we were told that this waterfall was 807 meters high. So it's 807 over 4186 is the heat capacity of water. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 1.89 degrees C. So that's the change in temperature. Now it's gaining kinetic energy, so it's gaining energy, so its temperature will increase. So the final temperature is equal to the initial temperature plus this change in temperature, which is 15.0 plus 1.89. So this gives us 15.9, sorry, 16.9 degrees C is the temperature at the bottom of the force. Now that was a pretty big assumption. There'll probably be a lot of energy lost as condensation and other things along the way.